Albert A. Walls, the voice of the jungle, broadcasting on the DVC to all points unknown. If you're within the sound of my voice, you're listening to Welcome Home Podcast on the DVC. Hello and welcome home. Thank you for joining us on episode 232 of Welcome Home, a Disney Parks and Vacation Club podcast. I'm Tom, here with Trevor, and we have Damon back, finally. I'm back. <laughs> I, back. I think I forgot hey. about everything, though. That's the problem. Like, I took notes, but I think I might have forgotten about the trip. So much has happened in between the trip and now. Did you Did you, uh, Did you? you miss us, Damon? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. I mean, as much as I can miss people, I don't really see that often, sure. <laughs> I yeah, mean, that's fair. I mean, I mean, yeah, I've, I've never personally, or I've never met you in person, so I don't yeah. think I could ever miss you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Wait, you can't miss people unless you've met them in person? I, okay. Yeah, I would I mean, agree with it, that. It, it's, it's different, I guess, yeah. is the, like... Not to say that I wouldn't miss talking to you, but it's different. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So I've had an interesting, again, my, my son has booked two shows, which is like kind of crazy for me. Wow. Cool. Yeah. So he's got one in Virginia and then he's got one in Raleigh. So we're going to be busy. And then he's also got three official visits in September for swim. And like our whole like swim school thing has now gotten a little like crazy because it, it's not just like school swim now it's like school swim music right so like we have to find him a spot where he can accomplish all of them and it may you know be something where he's looking at maybe a school for that swim that's not as intense so he can do all of those things so it's kind of put a little bit of a a wrench in there so we'll see um but yeah it's been it's been interesting for sure so let's see. So I can go right into Dollywood, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I thought yeah. I assume that right. you usually like yeah. to start off with your. I do. It's it's your, funny though. Like I said, I, I kind of like when I was thinking back about it, I kind of forgot about a lot of stuff because <laughs> it was it like was a two party. weeks ago now. Well, two, well two yeah. Days. Not only yeah. that, I'm also planning next year's vacations now, and I'm already dialed into like. Well, we're talking about are we going to Vero or are we going to like. Disney, like, how are we using our points? And then it was like, it turned into a conversation of like, well, we've never been to Bush Gardens, Tampa. Can we do that? Do we stay in Tampa? Do we go to Vero for a couple of days and then go to um, Tampa and Bush Gardens after that on the way home? It, it turned into a little bit. And it all really started with this Dollywood trip because we were gone from, let's see, we were gone from the 8th of August to the 13th. Okay. And the kid said it was too long. Oh, really? They were like, that's too long. I don't want to do that again. Wow. And it's funny because we did the park for three days, two days at the regular park, one day at the water park, and then had a day break. And we got there pretty late on Tuesday. I think that was probably our mistake was getting there Tuesday late rather than Wednesday early. Mm. How, far um, is, how far of a drive is it for you? About five and a half, six. Okay. Yeah, it's not so bad. I mean, I know it's closer for you, but it's not bad. Is it closer? Yeah, for, is it that much closer for me? Yeah, because you're west. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm still I'm further south though. I don't yeah, I, I think it's still it might be a little closer. You can look that up. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up while you're talking. So <laughs> we made a huge mistake though in one room. It was terrible in terms of like it was just bad, and, and kind of knew it would be bad, but there was a lot of money savings going on. But it definitely was not worth the money savings. And even the kids said that, you know, maybe they would have not, you know, had such a difficult time staying as long if we had two rooms. Because that's kind of what happened. The the one bathroom is really where it it was a tragedy. Because I I forgot that, like, my my middle son does, does not do this. But my oldest and my youngest, they might take an hour shower. Really? Like, yeah. Like they just shower. Like it's a shower. And I'm like, My okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, and it's not even like, it, it's not even like they can be ready quickly. Like it, getting everyone out was just an absolute disaster. Every time we need to go somewhere, actually it got so bad that like they just, not everyone started coming with us places. Like when we were like, Hey, we're going to Rita's. Cause again, right. We, we need to go to Rita's because we don't have one by us. So we're like, hey, we're going to read us. And, and the boys were like, nah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, all right, I guess we're rolling, right? Like, so we, we did some of that. But 
it was uh, talk about the things that we did outside of the parks first, I guess. So we did the mountain coaster, which again, we had not done the last time we were there, but we did the time before that at a, a different one. So there is, I want to say there's three with one on the way, or maybe there's two with one on the way, something along those lines. But, you know, we were able to get some good coupons for the one. So it's a, it, you're talking, this is an Alpine coaster? This is yeah. the gravity? Okay, so yep. yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. So the one that we did, we, we really enjoyed. And um, like I said, it worked out well because we had a discount. You know, there's there's a lot of discounts in Dollywood. If you just keep looking, you know, for everything, we were able to get discounts at restaurants, all sorts of places. Right? Da- so, Damon, on the Alpine coaster, you use the brake at all? You you go for oh, the, no. whole, the whole way? No, 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 no. I, but I will tell you that this one, like we went for the speediest one. That was kind of the goal. There was some discussion about the longest one versus the speediest one. I'm like, dude, like it's the speediest one. There's no question about it. So <laughs> they actually tell you how fast you're going. And I think we we're 26 miles an hour, I want to say 26, 28, something along those lines. So it was, it was definitely fun. I enjoyed it. So I will set the stage though, by saying that my oldest girlfriend came with us and she is not a ride person (laughs) at all, which we found out rather quickly. So even at the coaster, it was like, we're like, dude, you got to go last. Like no one's trying to stay behind you. But this coaster, what I really liked about it was like, you know, like when you get to kind of the spots where they kind of pull you up and normally you just go these, you could kind of like chill. Like, so instead of being pushed forward, especially if somebody was slow in front of you, the one that we went to, like you got to the top and you could be like, all right, I'm just going to break here for a second to make sure I don't catch the person in front of me, which I thought was really good. And there was also one, two, three, four, at least four of those spots where you were getting pulled up. So it wasn't like a big pull and then one down. It was like a pull down, pull down, pull down kind of So yeah. just for lift tells kind of yeah. thing. <clears throat> yeah. So that was nice. And like I said, I really did enjoy the fact that you could, you know, not have to worry about the person in front of you because you could kind of just, you know, keep yourself up there and eyeball yourself. The, the one thing I enjoy about the whole Dollywood area and even, you know, when we went to Branson, the rules are, are not like – as as hard and fast as they are at other amusement parks, it's like, hey, you want to sit up there and wait for a second? You know, th- they're not worried about pushing through those people because it's a smaller sort of venue. And, you know, it was like I said, no one was up there going, oh, you got to go or like, you know, pulling you along automatically. It was like, oh, I'm just going to sit up there and wait. And it is what it is. So that was fun. We did that one day. And that was kind of our down day, which again, these, these kids are not really about that. They're like, yo, can we do stuff? Can we do stuff? It's like, okay, well, hold on. Like, you know, things are expensive. Let's, uh, you know, let's just do one thing today. So that, that I think also was, um, was tough. Uh, so Did we you throw also, out a money doesn't grow on trees to them. No, I would <laughs> never do such a thing. <clears throat> I would never do such a thing, but you know, we did do shopping one day. And there was, you know, at the island, which is that spot in the middle that has the Ferris wheel. So we did do that. But we looked at, like, doing either a zip line or something else. But it's just so expensive. Like, I had too many people there because, you know, with six of us, zip line was, like, almost $1,000. And I, I just, I can't, like, yeah, I can't do that. Like That's, r- we, that's rough. That's a lot. Yeah. Especially yeah. because dinners were, were, you know, cheaper than Disney or stuff like that. But it was still not super cheap when you have six people. So we also went out with uh, Chris and Juanita. They met us for dinner. And this is what I found the most interesting. So we were looking to go through and find places to eat, right? So you would say, hey, you know, restaurants near me, you would sort them, you know, from, you know, best, you know, to worst or whatever, you know, you want to do. And I'd go through the list and that was fine. Now they had given me one recommendation that we went to, which we really enjoyed. And it was really nice because the waitress gave us a discount just because, which I was like, they okay. Just, that's like, totally giving you discounts? So they just- yeah, I, I, I did enjoy that. So that was good. Um, we also ate at like weird hours because, you know, we were like, oh, it's four o'clock. Let's go eat. So maybe that had something to do with it as well. Hold on one sec. You got like a matinee. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, I had a little cough. Um, yeah, so we did that. But what I found interesting was is that when we ended up asking them to come to dinner, uh, which was, you know, super awesome that they made that trip. Now, I've I've seen them a few times now because when they came to Durham for that soccer game, we also had breakfast. So we've seen them a few times. And what was really interesting was is that, you know, they said, hey, well, we could go to one of these places because, you know, they had asked, well, where do you want to go? So, I don't know, you know, your, you know, your world, like you let me where know where you want to go. And they gave me like five restaurants to choose from, right? 
Now, what was so interesting was, is these were five restaurants that I had never seen on any of the, like me searching for food places to eat at all. Okay. But they were all within the same confines of what I was looking for. So like, you know, they were four eights. Well, how am I not getting a four eight close by me when it was just kind of weird? So they gave us places to eat, which we enjoyed all of them. Um, you know, they were great nice. method for dinner. It was wonderful. But like, it was almost like, you know, why didn't we see those places before? It was kind of weird. I, I just, I found it weird because they fit the criteria of what I was looking for, but couldn't find them. So that's kind of, that is kind of weird. Like, yeah. you're like where, where have these places been our whole, all the times we've come? Exactly. Because there's places yeah. that when we go next time, we would definitely go to. So the hotel though, the dream war is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I love the Dollywood stuff. I will say that their customer service far surpasses Disney at this point. It's not even close. I mean, it is so ridiculously nice there and everyone is so ridiculously nice. It's almost unreal, I would tell you. So we, you know, again, we stayed at the hotel. Everyone was super nice. And, you know, they did s'mores at every day in the in the pit, like they had a fire pit out back. Now, again, this is definitely at a smaller scale for sure. But it was nice that you like you didn't have to pay for any of that. It was just kind of included within. So you know we were it was funny like we were always like oh well, we have to be home for s'mores or they do like you know Dolly's pink lemonade every night where you can just get cups of lemonade and things like that for That's free. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and it was like well we always had to be home for that. Like we always had excuse me at the hotel we always had to be at the hotel for back. s'mores yeah. and lemonade. Yeah, <laughs> always had to be back. Um, so yeah, you know they also have the um trolley to the parks so that's nice and and the water park is actually right next to the dream war now they are building a new hearthstone i think something like that i don't know they're building that right next to the dream war kind of expanding a little bit and we're really excited for that we're actually going to book next year because we're going to do a room in each of them again we're never doing one room again we're going to do a room in each of them now my son did fit on the bunk beds they were way bigger than the ones in the tree houses at disney so he was fine with that, which was good. Actually, my oldest and his girlfriend were able to fit in the bottom bunk, so my daughter at least had her own bed this go around. That was that was definitely a win, and we were pretty high up. Now, um, fireworks had stopped by that time of the year, but it was still like I said, great experience. The food there at the resort is is very good. It was my fiftieth, and we ended up staying for that Sunday for my birthday, we ended up doing a breakfast there and it was so good. You know how like buffets now, a lot of the times, like even when we went to the buffet at uh, the Gaylord Palms, which I also love, there's no like meat station anymore. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's, it's just, it's kind of been cut out of a lot of places, I think as a cost savings. Because and, eggs are easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so they had a carving station, which was, was really good. They had, they had everything. They had donuts, French toast, the whole thing, but it was, I like have an good. omelet station. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought that too, until you're like, yeah, you know, like it would be good if there was some sort of carving meat as yeah, well. Sure. But yeah. anyway, so, you know, we had the cinnamon bread cause you know, as everyone says, you have to have that, which it's fine. It is one of those things you have to eat when it's warm or you might as well forget about it. So, our first day, I think, did we do did we do the water park? And then I think we did the water park the first day because it was the weather was nice. Gosh, I don't even remember. Like I said, it's, been, it's only been two weeks, but I don't remember if we did water park, 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 or park, water park, park. I think we did water park, park, park. So here's the thing about the water park. I love it. Um, we were on, there's these slides that are, where you have those, the neoprene mats and the racing slides, you know, which ones I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Okay. So they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they have both of them. They have the ones that are open that are just kind of the humps. And then they have these ones, which are, um, in tubes. Okay. Okay. So there's, I think, one, two, three, four, five, is there six at the top? There might be six at the top and they're kind of high up there. So we go down and like, it was fast, fast. Like so fast that like I couldn't even like fathom what was going on the first time, right? Like it was just so fast. But I tell you that there was nobody at any of the parks, okay? So like, absolutely nobody. Totally nobody. 
totally died. So, you know, especially that first day we were at the water park, we actually actually ended up going to the water park twice. So we did go the first day and we go to, you know, that ride and I'm like, this could be the best water ride ever. Now my elbow got absolutely destroyed, like cut, bleeding, didn't matter. Were you like rubbing up against the plastic? Yes, because it was so oh, fast. Gosh. I couldn't even keep my boring. arms in. Yeah. I woke up the, like, so we went for two days to the water park. I woke up this after the second day at the water park so sore like i had done a triathlon and and lifted after it because i was trying to like keep them in because we started then playing for points right you know who's fastest down (laughs) again here's the other thing you're up at the top and you know those rides there's dude you could run and hop in right like there's like no supervision they're just so there's supervision but it's like supervision within limits so it's not like action park where like it's a total free-for-all but it's like hey man don't get crazy, but like if you want to put your knee up there and give yourself a push off, like we're okay. Where you go to like the Disney ones and they're like, everyone lay down flat, put your feet on the back of the mat, you know, and then yeah, they hold yeah. on. Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> it's a little bit more of a free for all, which I enjoy. But yeah, that ride was probably one of my favorite water rides I've actually ever ridden, um, even though it hurt me and I have a scar. And I show the kid, like, because I have a scar on my elbow from it, which is even, like, awesomer, I will say. It's like, because, it's like a burn, right? Yeah, yeah it's I mean, like, like a burn. I've but, gotten one of those on a water slide before. It is the worst. But like, here's the thing. We yeah. rode that probably over the two days, probably 20, 30 times. Yeah, yeah. So it's, like, ingrained in there now. Like, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> You're just going to have that for the rest of your life now. Oh, absolutely. It's uh, again. Like an yeah. action park scar. It's <laughs> it is actually, yeah, it is an, like an action park scar. So then let's we'll talk about the park. So what I found the most interesting, the, the funniest thing to me. So, you know, again, there's this trolley. It's at the front of the hotel. Now, I don't remember if we were still stuck in the room. Be- yeah, I think we were in the room because one of the kids was probably showering. Now, here's the other thing. They shower before they work out. Like, they shower before going to the water park. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I, I can't fathom that at all. <laughs> Every day of the summer, my son would shower my oldest when he was home from college and then go to the gym. Dude, you're going to the gym. Like, I don't shower understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They, they shower before. Anyway, so we were running a little late for whatever reason. So the girls were down there waiting for the trolley already. And it was the one day that like, we could have waited for a second trolley, but like, you, you know, there was a little bit of a line. So you don't know if we were going to get on that trolley, probably would have gotten on that trolley anyway. So, you know, we're there and we're kind of talking to them. And again, the person that I am, I'm not trying to like, cut in line right that's just not my jam like i was like hey we'll go to the back and you know whatever yeah Yeah. so you know my wife's like why and then so i just said all right so so i asked the lady behind because there was a lady with her daughter and two two daughters and they were older like so the lady was whatever age but the daughters were probably like i don't know 17 18 you know maybe 20 who knows i can't even fathom understanding what age girls are now but like somewhere between (laughs) 11 and 40 right that's what i would say somewhere in between birth and 40 years old (laughs) somewhere in there you know they were talking so you know not not necessarily birth and 40 but okay okay so and and so and i say to the lady said hey you know do, do you mind like you know I said, and I said, I have no problem going to the back of the line. She goes, this is exactly what she She goes, of course you can go. This isn't Disney. It's not like that here. (laughs) I don't know what that means. What's that? That that means like, like, I'm not going to freak out. You're not going to get punched in the face. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm not going to have to worry about that. And I was like, okay, like, Mm. all righty then here we are. Um, So that was kind of like the interesting to me. I I do want to say, though, there is an escape room place there that that we did not do because I'm looking through my notes now. I'm kind of a little bit all over the place. There's a Scooby-Doo escape room. Scooby-Doo escape room. Exactly. Exactly. All over that. (laughs) Yeah. Escape rooms are just too expensive for me these days with six people. But yes, it looked awesome. So, okay. So we go to the park the first day. And again, because all the kids are back in school on that Monday – it's like empty. So we have fast passes, which we'll call fast passes, right? Old school fast passes. You get a wristband. It's kind of more like the um, Bush Gardens aspect where you have a wristband and you can ride certain rides once. They scan it, that sort of thing, right? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And you get that from staying at the hotel or you could purchase it, but it comes free with the hotel. I think there's nice. two versions, but we have the, the lower version. We used it once and then it wasn't even necessary because we were riding rides, getting off and riding rides. They rode Wild Eagle six times in a row. Oh, my God. We rode Mystery Mine, I think, like, seven times in a row. And, like, I was sick. 
you know, I, I mean, I was definitely sick, but like, worth it. I don't think I wrote it that many times. I think maybe the boys did because I, I don't. I, I I rode the front row though twice in a row, like no problems with that. There's nobody there, nobody. Like it was amazing. You could ride anything. There was no weights for anything. So what happened was, is we just kind of finished. <laughs> like we were like, wait, you got too much done. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, like, you, you got enough done and you were just done with. Parking. Yeah. So I would say the the new big bear ride is very good. Um, it's a little bit more than slinky dog and it's long, but, but here's where the, the, the missing part is. Right. So you have these two kind of tunnels in big bear and it's a, it's a launch ride. But you have these two tunnels, and there's like um, bear noises. I don't know what else to say, right? Bear noises, just, just growls. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. But as you're, you know, you and and the cue is fine, right? More almost like a verboten cue, like where it's good, but you can definitely like feel like it's a cue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like okay, but but here's the thing: there's there's nothing like where is this bear? Like, <laughs> well, you don't, you didn't see a picture of a bear at any point. Or what I'm saying is, is like the like ride is about trying. chasing this bear. And I get the point of you're chasing it, but don't catch it. But like, why is there not like a shadow of a bear, like a bear animatronic? Like you could have given me anything. And, and that's where it just misses a little bit. Yeah. And I think that's kind of what the miss is in general, even though the rides are really good. Like mystery mine, I think is well done. I say I give that one, you know, a plus, but I look at something like Firecracker or whatever that one is called. I mean, that's good too, because it's got this one was like, man, like we're we're out in the middle of like the woods. I get it, but can you give me something? <laughs> but the ride was very enjoyable, very smooth, and, and it was just really well done from a ride standpoint, how they kind of, you know, did the twists and turns. I, I thought it was well done. They also have this dragon flyer-ish ride, which is one of those coasters where like you know your feet dangle you you clip in and you know you go upside down and all that that one was really good as well but it, it again it's this 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 theming is just just a straight roller coaster yeah i mean it's in the wildwood grove which in general is themed right i get we're themed like in the mountains and we are in the mountains so it's kind of like you know theming itself is you know where you are I, you, just, you don't yeah, you're just you know what i mean you don't have to change it like it's not like you're in florida and you're trying to go to a fantasy land like you're in the mountains and you're in the mountains but I felt like there was just this little bit less than Disney and Universal from a theming that I would have liked to have seen. But I thought the rides were very, very well done in terms of the coasters themselves. So that's that's kind of what we got. So then we went shopping the next day and ate food and did all that. And then went back to the park again. We ended up staying not even that long. And we ended up going back to the water park because it was like, I mean, how many times can I ride like your awesome rides? Like they're awesome, but I don't care what ride it is. Like if you're going to throw me on rock and roller coasters seven times in a row, like, yeah. okay, I'm tapping out. I'm done. Like I'm, 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 done. I'm I had my fun and it's been wonderful, but we need to part ways now. Right. It was kind <laughs> of like that. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, we really enjoyed it. We're going to book the exact same time next year. I think the only minus, like I said, was, you know, this, this one room thing. And there's so much to do outside of Dollywood, you know, again, depending on how much money you want to spend, like, you know, there's go-kart and there's mini golf. There were things that we wanted to do that we just were like too tired to do, or just like next trip sort of thing. So I don't think you get, you know, this kind of, I think there's always something to do. Like there's so many just different, like one show things that you can accomplish. Like I said, Dude, Scooby do escape room? Like, oh my goodness. Like, yeah, please, right? Like mini golf, yeah. Like we haven't even done all the mini golf there. So didn't we talk like the last time you went about the don't do they have the 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 pirate uh like themed uh, uh medieval times thing there that Dolly Parton owns? They might. I mean, I haven't been to one of their shows. They have the rodeo one, I know that. Because um, we we talked about they have it in Myrtle Beach uh, the, where it's like okay. uh, it's, they have like a ma- they still have a magic quest there Tom do oh really? yeah <laughs> yeah okay. yeah but there's so much to do like I said yeah if you decided that you you know again you, I think you have to because they also have the Ripley's Aquarium which I've loved um we've been there as well if you know you, you have to kind of gauge your money because it could get crazy like even when we went to the yeah. island which is that like shopping area in the middle there was some stuff that I hadn't seen there before there was some um. 
like kind of like um, the void ish sort of stuff. And then there was like inside, you know, 3D, like Soren. They, they had all different sorts of things that you could do, but those are, you know, you're paying for separately. Uh, so that was kind of, we played and we did also play a lot of cornhole at oh. the hotel as well. Did you do any mini golf? We did not do any mini golf this time. Again, oh. remember we had mini golfed ourselves out. Yeah. You guys did time. a lot of mini golf last <laughs> time. We did a lot of mini golf last time. So totally enjoyable. Uh, like I said, we'll be going again next year. So looking forward to it. And it's a very cheap relatively. I want to say, so for six of us for, Let's see how many days. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we left Sunday. So let's just call it in total five days. I'd say for six people, I me, mean, we were probably under three grand. That's not bad. Yeah. 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 That's not too I, bad. I didn't think that was bad at all. Now, again, we, we have no idea what we're doing next year outside of that. We're still trying to plan a Hershey trip that may be on, on, on the agenda. It's going to um, happen. <laughs> yeah. Tampa. Uh, this Tampa sort of Tampa Bush Gardens. Disney mesh where we either we go to Vero, we go to you know Disney and go there. I don't know what's. Going I thought to you were out on Vero. Vero. I thought you hated Vero. I, the only way we're going is if we get a cottage. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Got so it. So you it. think yes. you'll be okay if you get a cottage? I, yes, I think if we get the cottage. It will just be. I, I don't think there's anything nicer than that. Like when I yeah, I, yeah. I look at even the stuff in the parks. I mean, because the cottage itself has that second floor balcony that literally points to the ocean. Yeah, that's and cool. it's not far. It's close. I, I don't think there's anything better than that. From you know, again, people would say fireworks. Okay, yeah, fine, but I'm fireworked out at this point in my life, so I'm fine with that. Like <laughs> you've seen enough fireworks. I've seen enough fireworks. I, as I tell my wife all the time, when they invent something new with fireworks, let me know. I'll show up. <laughs> Till then, I, not so much. I, I think you're at a point where if you were really going to do fireworks, like there is fireworks competitions where that would be, you get really creative. Like we, we actually have something like that in Calgary called global fest, um, which is literally just a fireworks festival for people to come and show off stuff. But that's kind of cool. That's different than like, like what you're saying, which is like the, you know, the, the theme park fireworks. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'm going to knock out the listener questions that are Dollywood related. Then we can go to Sean's after. Okay. okay. So let's see. So we haven't answered that question in a while. So I figured we. Yeah, can- that's fine. So Chris, who we went to dinner with, is asking: Is the food overall better at Disney Dolly when does have one have a higher floor than the other? Yeah. So I, I I think I would answer this kind of like I think average Dollywood food is far superior to average Disney food, right? But I don't think Dollywood has a top end like Disney has a top end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. But you know exactly what you mean, yeah. Yeah, the, the cost is also a factor. Like Dollywood is like nothing compared, of course, yeah, to to Disney in terms of cost. Now Dollywood bakery area, I don't know, man. The bakery, Dollywood bakery, and cinnamon bread and all that might get Disney. But again, I think yeah, the, the Dollywood in general, the the average food is is way better than Disney average food. So that I would say there. I do also want to mention that they that they did take us to an ice cream place that the Ice cream place has its own farm, so they bring their own milk from their own cows to make that the ice is, cream. Yeah, it was yeah, really good. good. That's awesome. We skipped Rita's that night to do that, and while some of the people in our crew were a little upset by that, I was not. I thought <laughs> I had sweet, I had sweet cream, soft ice cream, and it was oh extremely gosh. good. That sounds amazing. Yes. Okay. So, which of the Dollywood roller coasters did you like the best? It is tough. I would say that for me, the coaster that I like the best is still probably Mystery Mine. I just think it's such a different coaster than stuff that you find other places. The fact that it actually goes upside down for that long, and it's it's not fast, fast, but it goes upside down for so long that like you really cannot have anything in your pockets. You will lose them is probably my favorite. Uh, least favorite, I don't ride the Wild Eagle anymore. So I would say just, I mean, I think it was a good ride, but I just don't ride it anymore. It's just too much for me. So... I don't know if it's my least favorite, but I would say it's one I don't ride. And then wait times were zero, literally zero. We were walking off, on, off, on, like off, like zero. Um, Okay. So Katie, what's one thing Dollywood does better than Disney? Right now, I'm going to tell you customer service. It's not even close. It's not even a question um, that their customer service is far superior to Disney in, in every aspect. At restaurants, at the hotel, in the park, waiting online, everything. It's just, it's overall better. And, and then, go ahead. Sorry, just to expand on that, what, like, 
what exactly is giving you that vibe or, or like, do you have any particular examples? Sure. Of- yep, yep, yep. So, I mean, just in general, everyone, like not the cast members at Disney. Listen, some cast members at Disney at this point are a little rude. I mean, they just, mm. they just are right. You run into a, lot- a cranky one occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and the thing is there just doesn't exist at Dollywood. Everyone is at the same. So that's what probably I say. So you take the best Disney CM that's everybody at Dollywood. So, yeah. you know, okay. even when we asked for, um, like, you asked for towels, and it's like, okay, I got 65 towels. You know what I mean? They were like, well, <laughs> they were like, well, how many people do you have? And it's like, well, we have, there's six of us, but, you know, there's four teenagers. And they're like, oh, totally get it. No problem. You know, like, we'll, we'll take care of that. And they, you know, there's like 60 towels. When we were down at the, um, at the fire pit, the people that are like kind of running that are just, they're, they're more talkative. And again, this is definitely because it's a smaller place. They're just more talkative about, you know, just things in general. You can be a lot more selective when you have less employees, right? right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're, they're (laughs) just, they're just more talkative and friendly and, you know, things of, of that nature where it's not like they're handing you the s'mores kit and it's like, kind of go on your way. You know, how was your day? How'd you go to Dollywood today? You know, things like that that I think are just, you know, more well done. And I will say if there's ever any like issue with anything. So like we were having an issue with one of the bands, like it's, it's just, it's just done a little bit differently. It's very just calm. Everything's calm. Everything's easy. And, and it's just, it's nice. Like, again, there was not an experience at all. Here's the other thing. You know what I will say too, is that they feel like, I feel like, and this has happened a few times there where they don't let guests get out of control. It's the South. They just don't play like that. Right. (laughs) So like, I remember when we were there and there was a, and this was so many years ago, my kids. So let's see, my oldest is 19. Now I want to say maybe he was 10, maybe. And there was somebody playing on the slides, but like kind of like acting the fool at 10 years old. (laughs) And like a lady came (laughs) over and was like, Hey, listen, kid (laughs) you know like (laughs) no (laughs) like you can't try to go back up the slide the other way that's not how things are done here and made him go sit out (laughs) (laughs) no one came over and said it did anything it's kind of the same thing even now like everything like they just tell you what's what like and that's that and like just deal with it or right there's not a lot of that like there was no there's no crazy like they there's no craziness going on there everything's just kept at a level that's just I wish Disney would do that. Yeah, like if there's line Just cutting, tell like, people to knock it off, right? I, yes, like, <laughs> yes, yes. I think the problem is there's a certain entitlement because Disney is so expensive. There are people think that they can do whatever they want, and yeah, Disney but, doesn't want to rock but, the boat. I guess. But, but you're right. I wish they would the do boat. it too. I get it. But. So I do like that. And again, even when you're like kind of like you're, we're going to get breakfast at the hotel, like it's chatty, it's friendly, it's it's comfy and cozy with everyone you talk to, not like it's just one person, every single person you talk to. We had a conversation with, so we were down there, we were talking, one of the guys that's opening the new, um, he's the head of uh, the food services over at the new hotel, which is not open yet. And he was just down there chatting, like talking to people. We talked for a while. You know, we had um, somebody come up to us talking about the Branson Park. Like, it's just more chatty, more familiar, that sort of thing. That's what I would say. Okay. I get that. Um, Makes sense. Yep, yeah, let's see. And one thing Disney does better than Dollywood is <laughs> listen, the, the again, I said this already, the the cues, the theming, yeah. theming is mm-hmm. just next level at Disney. Again, I think about Guardians of the Galaxy versus what I rode, and if you take the rides, the actual rides, forget about everything else. Man, I tell you, I I, I don't like I, I love some of the stuff that exists outside of Disney, but course, Disney's yeah. theming is just is just different. It's next level. So I would say that um, Disney definitely does that better. Uh, Let's see. Do I think Dollywood is worth a visit for international guests? Mm. Man, that's a tough one. Um, I mean, that whole area though, there's so much to do though, right? There is. You can make a vacation out of it, like a long vacation out of it. You 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 could do a bunch of stuff. It's going to cost you a lot of money. Um, You could do it, but yeah, I, Here's the only thing I would I would say is right kind of on that same line, you know, Pigeon Forge is not Orlando, right? Like it's that's, it's. I think that's exactly the key. 
is that it's you it's like temper expectations that it's not a carbon copy of it is not and it's it's different in its own way but like yes you're you know dealing with the people that do the go karts the go karts they are, are amazing but there's 20 different places right so there's almost like okay well which place do I go to how do I like what there's just a lot of moving parts because every one of those 20 places is different they're they're not like all the same so you understand what to do how to go what like it's there's a lot of that that goes on and like yeah you got to go find where you're going to eat tonight right like that place may be busy you got to go find somewhere it's it's not like a contained area like disney is or, or universal it's not like that it's you know there's a lot of hunting pecking like you have to have a car so as an international guest i mean how much do you want to drive like and you know you're driving in these places where there's like a bunch of people especially at these places out and you know at night going to eat per se. I mean, it's just a different experience in, in general. Um, Where do you even fly into to get to Pigeon Forge? I guess, I mean, you're talking about is that Knoxville or Nashville? Which one is it? I don't I know. Forget, I, I, yeah, I don't know what the cl- closest airport is to, to Dollywood. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I think it's worth a visit, but I don't know if I would say, I would say that even if I had like enough money, I mean, I'm probably going to you know tap out at six days anyway. So is it worth it? just to come to Dollywood. I mean, as part of another visit for international guests, absolutely. Because it is a totally different experience than, than Disney. And as I've said, and I know it makes everyone mad, it is my favorite park bar none. That's it. There's no question. It is my favorite park. It could be my kid's favorite park. You you know what I mean? Like they just really enjoy that. So yeah, I mean, worth it. If you can tack it onto something else, I, I just don't think you would be coming out here to do just that. And again, you have to prepare yourself for, for what it is, which is a different type of vacation, not better, not worse, just different. I would say. Okay. By the way, if you're, in case you're wondering, the closest uh, airport is Knoxville. So okay. <laughs> also it's four hours for me. So yeah, yeah so I thought it was a little bit closer. Yeah, it is a little, yeah. not too. Bad. I think so. One of the schools my son's looking at is in Tennessee. And I'm like, I will 100% be on board with a season pass at Dollywood. Yeah, because every time you go out to visit, you could just pop in, right? I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. It's the way to do it. All right. Well, All anything right. else from your nope. vacation? Sorry. I think that's it. I think we're on to the, the Wolverine origin story. <laughs> <laughs> the Wolverine origin story? <laughs> He is Canadian. Some of the best comics, though. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You know what? He is Canadian. That is true. <laughs> Wait, so um, what? What superhero would you be then? So if we give Trevor Wolverine just you know, de facto because a Canadian, like Canadian, who, who are you? <laughs> who are you, Tom? I don't know. That's a that's a tough question. Yeah. Um, I'd have to really think about. Are we going just any superhero, or are we? I think are, we have to go Marvel at that point. I mean, kind of I, walking in on X Men. Yeah, I mean that's what I was saying. Are we going just X Men or? Oh, you know? X Men. I'm Ice Man. If if it's X Men, like I, I'm I'm Ice Man. I feel like. Can I go Spider Man? <laughs> we'll we'll let you slide on Spider Man. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, but I think outside, like if 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 Spider Man is not truly like the main character, like he is dead in every story. I, I hate to tell you, like his powers <laughs> are not at the same level as everybody else. Yeah, but I mean, like he's got like the strength. He's got like you know, he's very smart. He's got the cool webs. Dude, I'm freezing gonna, you and you know, putting you in the bottom of the ocean, and <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> his spidey and sense I, saves it, him. Yeah, the spidey <laughs> sense. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> No, I mean that's that's cool. I mean, like I think every I feel like most people would be like Iron Man, right? Like because Iron Man's just cool, right? I don't know. I feel like Iron Man though, dude. You could just like somebody's figuring out who it is, and you're just sniping him. Like that's it, <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, but he's probably got some sort of technology to stop that, right? I don't know. Come on, right. Tony Stark. He's got he's got all sorts of he's he's like uh, you know Rick from Rick and Morty. Like no matter what you do to him, he's got some sort of defense built in, right? Oh, like, I don't know. Rick Rick is far superior in power, I think, to to Iron Man to, to, Iron Man, to, <laughs> yeah. to Tony Stark. This oh, is yeah, getting into a weird territory yeah. now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole conversation. I, I started watching Adventure Time, by the way. Oh, you did? I, I've, okay. I have not like ever wanted to watch Adventure Time, and then I was like, oh, everyone says Adventure Time is as good as Gravity Falls, and I'm like, there's no way. So I started watching Adventure Time. I was like, this is terrible. Stop. Started. This is terrible. Stop. And then like I'm on some like cartoon Reddit, and they're like, dude, like just bully through, right? Just just bully through a little bit. And I'm like, oh, all right, fine. So like you know, I think it was 
maybe when on vacation, I don't remember. I was like, all right, I'm just going to bully through and start. And I'm on season two now. It's pretty good. It is not Gravity Falls, but it's pretty good. Like, and if you're like me and you kind of been like, you know, this is not really great. And then you kind of just kind of go in a little bit deeper. It, it may not be so bad after all. All right. I watched it years ago and, and yeah, you're right. It, it kind of started off like it, it's very, um, I was like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's misleading and it seems random at first. Like mm-hmm. every episode seems disconnected, but then, yeah, like you said, as you to get to like season two, it all hooks together and you see like the bigger picture. Yeah. yeah. It's, right. it's a weird show <laughs> for is. sure. Now, all I'm thinking is instead of Marvel characters, I feel like we're, we, I feel like we're more appropriate as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but you know, that's just here, neither or another. Ooh, Leonardo, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, that's, that's, I guess so. it's got a good origin story there. I heard that movie was good. The new one, but I, you know, I didn't see I don't it. love that style though. Yeah, see, I I had a feeling you wouldn't but, like because that's man, not like your. That style. I, I don't I'm, love that animation style either, actually. But, yeah, yeah, it's it's the slower frame rate, right? Like it looks kind of choppy. Yeah, yeah. Almost. I don't love it. Yeah. Disney's got a lot of stuff coming out though. I think they the do. Doomies or whatever. There, there's a lot of good serialized animation coming from them. So, all right, origin story though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Back, back to our original question. Yeah, we we <laughs> haven't said this in a while, so I uh, will forgive Sean for not have her, uh, ha- having heard this before. So. Sean asks, what's the podcast origin story? Have all three of you met together in real life? Uh, I know Trevor's in Canada, and I think Tom and Damon are from Jersey and both live in NC. So, you, I mean, you know most of that backstory, I guess. Um, but so uh, so essentially years ago, um, I mean, it's been a long time now. It's been over six years that we've been doing this. Um, there was a uh, DVC group that got created. What was it? DVC Neighborhood. It was the official DVC yep. group. It's right? still around. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's still I, there. I, I left that yeah. one a long time ago because that, that group was mess but um so i had been wanting to do a podcast for a a, a long time uh i you know i I just really wanted to do it and uh so i posted in that group and i said hey i want to do a a dvc theme podcast and uh you know who wants to do it with me and uh damon and trevor and and then the facebook algorithm is involved here yeah yeah when you think about it no absolutely 100 percent, right so uh Mm -hmm. these guys uh responded we had someone else that responded too but we were never able to get in touch with that wonder what happened with them yeah i wonder what happened to that person Hmm. (laughs) wait do you still have the message in messenger i probably do if i really like looked back Hmm. (laughs) they have their own podcast and it's even cooler is that possible (laughs) i mean i know of only like two other dvc podcasts so i mean <laughs> you know sure. and i don't think it's any of the people that do those but i you know it's possible i guess but um I guess so. but yeah so that's i mean that's just kind of how it started and and it just so happens that you know uh we get along really well together and we we you know we have similar senses of humor and uh you know, make each other laugh often. <laughs> so uh, it's really hard to kind of fake the, this kind of chemistry and stuff like that. So, and I, a lot of people actually, Trevor, I think your wife posted this to the Facebook group the other day that like, even from the first episode, it sounded like we had been friends for like 10 years. Yeah. yeah. And that that's actually what I was going to say is I, I think the the weirdest and the coolest thing about when, when we first met yeah. was, you, you know, you sent out that message and me and Damon responded and I remember saying, like, I said to my wife, I was like, you know, you know, hey, I want to try this because I'd never done something like a podcast before. And, you know, we were like, this was like very early into us being into DVC and all that. And and I said, you know, I think I can talk about this, but but I kind of said to her, I'm like, I don't know. And, and then I was also like, I don't even know, you know, what these people are going to be like, like this may, <laughs> this may yeah. not go anywhere. And the weird thing was, is that I think the three of us, we got onto that first or we we all got on uh, like on a voice call. Yeah, it was just like a voice. Yeah, it was like a- yeah, and and it was just that like instantly like, hey, how's it going? Like like we didn't even like none of us even flinched at being awkward about it. It was like <laughs> yeah. we just were yeah. all like, okay, cool, we're doing this, and it just yeah. went like, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, so I've met Tom a few times yeah. here in North Carolina for swim meets because we've been out his way, mm-hmm. and um. I have not met Trevor because they went together to Disney and I was just unable to attend. I think my one of my I think one of my kids had some sports or something. I just couldn't yeah, go. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, we we tried. It was a it was a failed meetup from 2020 that we finally did in 2022. That yeah, uh, 
I mean, it wasn't a, I mean, it wasn't a failed meet. It was just a well, failure of. I mean, David I wasn't Cohen. there. That is a failure. I would agree with. <laughs> no, that. I mean, That's I mean, it was assessment. It was failed in that 2020 happened, and oh yeah, yeah. Was get to the parks, and then it didn't. It didn't properly happen until 2022. Oh, oh, and then, yeah, yeah. You're, I forgot. No, we I had, still consider it a failed meeting without me there. I, I, I forgot that we had a meetup <laughs> scheduled for 2020 that we had we, to cancel. We were trying, oh, and God. then yeah, yeah. Wait, when is the next meetup? I don't know. We got to schedule something, don't we? So yeah. I feel like I feel like for me. Uh, I, this is going to be like sa- sacrilege, but man, let's do an epic universe meetup at Disney. Gosh. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say though, like next year when I have two kids in college, it actually probably becomes easier yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can, we can try to, we can try to schedule something for next year. We, that meetup was a lot of fun. We had, we had a good amount of listeners there and um, the food was really good. And we, I meant 2025. Time. Sorry. Like when they're both at actually in college. Okay. Yeah. 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 We can, we can make that work. We'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah. We, but, we can start planning. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's just kind of how it happened, Sean. Like it's, it's kind of, it's, it's just weird that it all kind of worked out. Right. Because like, it doesn't well, feel like it should have. <laughs> no. And I, I think, I think what the thing that's always a little bit underrated here is that we all enjoy doing different things yeah. about the podcast. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. I, I tried to do another podcast again. And, and while it was working, like, dude, no one really wanted to edit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, one, like Tom yeah. does the stuff that I just don't want to do. <laughs> right. Like there's just no way I want to do that. So I think we all bring something a little unique to the table that meshes well. And we both enjoy yeah. doing different things with the podcast. Like I, I do social media stuff like Facebook. That's fine. Like I have no problem with that, but like, I just don't want to edit, man. Like, I just don't want to do it. So it's been fun. I think we also all have different insights as well, which makes it nice because we don't all think the same way about everything. Well, and, which and we have, need to be like that yeah. because it's not a podcast if we're all like, yeah, everything's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I, I just think we've also always leaned into the awkwardness, right? Like <laughs> we've always, we always leaned into the, when we make mistakes or when we say stupid stuff or when we, you know, just give each other a hard time. Like that's why yeah. it's kind of worked out that way. Right. And, and no, to your point, Damon. Yeah. I, 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 lo- I like producing the podcast. I, I, I enjoy that piece of it. So it was actually funny, Damon, when you weren't here last week, when Jody was here, she had, she had like a, what was it? The, uh, the landscaper in the background or something. And she was like, Oh, you could just edit that out. And I'm like, we don't edit anything. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't, we don't edit stuff. Like that's have, not how we roll. <laughs> th- there's a bunch of people here right now. And I was like, Oh my, my daughter's friends are here in their lab. I was like, yeah, we just roll with it, man. Yeah. That's just yeah. how we, how we do it. <laughs> All right. So we got an ad now, huh? We got an ad and then, and then actually DVC stuff. Yeah. Trevor, were you going to say something else before we do the ad or? Uh, I was gonna, just going to mention how, you know, I used to have like, you know, the the smoke alarm going off in my house because <laughs> <laughs> of cooking going on. Oh, and it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, it's just, listen, it happens, man. Like right when we started recording this, there was a thunderstorm rolling through. You know, it just it is what it is. Life happens, man. Like we're we're not here to be perfect. We're not here to, to get rid of all the ums and the likes. And we try not to do it because we know it drives some people crazy. But that's how people talk. You know, it just it is yeah. what it is. So. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and do our ad? Uh, our our sponsor of this episode is DVC Rental Store. The DVC Rental Store, a world of DVC company, offers magical vacations at incredible value. Save up to sixty percent off retail rates at premium Disney resorts. DVC Rental Store now includes deposits as low as twenty five percent at the time of booking and a built in cancellation policy for every reservation. And as always, DVC Rental Store pays out the most to members looking to rent their points. Want to learn more? Go to dvcrentalstore.com slash welcome home or call 1-855-DVC-RENT. That's 1-855-382-7368. And be sure to let them know that Welcome Home sent you. Or, of course, like I said, go to dvcrentalstore.com slash welcome home. Very important to put the welcome home piece in there. So really interesting uh, that Disney's warning people f- <laughs> way ahead of time about uh storm along bay at beach club closing do you, you have i to. think it's fair yeah you have to because <laughs> well, people yeah. book for that that's the thing right so you're right damon right like that's the big draw of yacht and beach I, right is the is that pool and if yeah. you're gonna close it for five months like so you they're gonna to. close the pool for five months from january uh through may 2025 i'll so be honest with you i also think the point should go down during that time as crazy as that sounds Ooh. no i I totally agree with that. But you can't because you can't, the way points but, work. But I yeah. feel like it almost is like, yeah. So people were saying, okay, well, you can, you know, they're going to let them, you know, hop to boardwalk or wherever the case may be. I almost feel like though there should be some 
something else that you get, like a free dinner or something, like something. <laughs> Otherwise, something. I was like, why are you going? There? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm assuming, I mean, maybe the cash rates will be lower. I don't know. But you can't change the, I mean, the points, like you said. But Well, they can, though. That's like, because we haven't had point charts yet for 2025, right? Well, so they could adjust them lower during those five months, but then they'd have to be higher the, the rest of the year, I guess, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Which, well, yeah, yeah, that, right. that becomes a fight to, you know people wanting to to get later in the year which you know actually to the you know the the interesting thing about that is you know there may be people that would take advantage of that because i mean i i guess i don't know like you're right that everybody um really goes to beach club for this pool like, like it's it's a very unique pool and it's there's nothing there's not another resort that has a, a pool like this on property but yeah I mean, I guess my thinking too is, you know, it's it's proximity wise about as close as uh, Boardwalk to Epcot and to so the Skyliner, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, so if they offered, you know, a cheaper rate for those five months, um, that might be something I would consider if I knew I was going there, you know, you know, for stuff at Epcot and whatnot. Like, you know, if I was there for Flower and Arts or, or no, it's Flower and Garden. Or flower and garden, yeah, flower and garden, or festival of the arts, or whatever. Um, uh, you need you know, to call it by its correct name, which is farts. So, yes, <laughs> um, I was trying to tiptoe around that, but yeah, that's um, what it's called. It's called farts. Yeah, you, you know, maybe if you're going there for one of those, you know, you know, that could actually be more attractive if they knocked a few points off. But then, like you said, you know, unfortunately, that means later on in the year, people are paying a little bit more in terms of points to stay there when when it's open. I mean, you'll probably just have people staying elsewhere, though, right? Like, so you, uh, I'm guessing there'll be more availability, I would think. Like, you, you'd have an easier time getting into Beach Club at uh, um, at six months, right? During yeah. this time period, I would think. But maybe not. I don't know. I, I'm actually kind of surprised they're not starting this in, like, November. I know it's, like, the busy time. But, like, you would think the pool's probably less filled during the, the winter. I know it doesn't get i mean it does get super cold sometimes in florida but i mean you know you're not really going in the pool in november for the most part right i, I mean speak I, for yourself but okay um <laughs> only the canadians there, are in the pool yeah uh, there, there, there's no time of year that i i would not get in a pool at at disney because yeah i'm pretty sure i've been <laughs> in the pool in december at disney but i'm just saying like you know try to encompass as much of winter as possible because by may it's you know pool weather so I don't know. I wonder if it's to do with hurricane season too, because they, they, uh, because that could definitely have an impact on, you know, if they're doing maintenance work. So I I think it probably just has more to do with like the busy season of November and December. They don't want to like take that away during the, 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 that busy time, you know, I don't know, but I, it's, it's interesting to me that, and you guys are right, this is why they're doing this, but the fact that they're notifying people a full year, basically a year and a half ahead of time, like, that they're, this is going to be closed, like, that's kind of incredible. I, I can't remember them ever going that far ahead, you know? Especially for a pool. Yeah, for a pool, yeah. I, again, you know, you know, pool maintenance. Oh, while happens. out, though. But they will while out if they book there and there's no pool. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that, yeah. You're right. That that is that is absolutely the case here. Is you know if if I was you know like if you put me a boardwalk and that p- stupid new pool without the clown is is closed, <laughs> I'm like, die, whatever, man. Yeah. I mean, it's worth noting there's still going to be pools open, just not the main pool, right? So like but that is the, the only pool, really. Well, yeah, yeah. The, the, the other pools are like they're all carbon copies. They're just pools. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're. It's a square block with water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're a pool you'd find anywhere. They don't the la- so this is, the lazy river is going to be closed. The pirate ship uh, is theme slide is going to be closed. The kid pool is going to be closed. It's all that's all going to be closed. The whole Stormlong Bay is going to be closed. So yeah, I mean, listen, I I appreciate. I think it's good that they're warning people this far out. So yeah, no, I, I agree. Yeah, I think almost they they need to warn people, and there should be like a pop up when you're going to book. Like they for sure real, want do that usually though. No, they do yeah. that. No, there should be for realsies. Like you know, the yeah. pool is closed, right? <laughs> like that's what it should say. Yeah. You know, the yeah, pool is closed, right? Do you still want to book? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> like just keep, yeah, keep having pop ups. Yeah. Do you right. sleep on it? 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's like a five minute timer to give you time to think about it before you can book it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, so I will say though, while Tom is making us record at a different day today, yeah, th- there's no way I can't like go to dinner soon. I, I but let, I want to talk about mm-hmm. Tiana's Palace menu. Like, is that like? Can we okay. do that? Yeah, yeah let's we, do we it. Can, yeah, let's do it. Well, let's we skip can, here because we can hop ahead to this. It, yeah. This is bad because it's this is the Disneyland menu. It's Disneyland, it, but like, yeah. is it going to be the same? What do you mean? Well, no, they're Good not doing a restaurant at Disney they're World. Not? No, oh, but I, they're not for the new ride. Not yet. Not that we've heard of yet. I mean, there's been. It's not going to be this. Going to close Pecos Bill down and do. Why it, isn't but- it going to be this? I mean, <laughs> this this is good, isn't it? Can it like, be this, this? This menu is amazing. <laughs> yeah, can it be can this? Please be this, <laughs> please. First of all, when you talk about sandwiches, the muffaletta, the muffaletta, yeah, is is something that is just on a totally different level. Now, it can be ruined with bad olive relish, though. I will say, sure, the sure. olive relish has to be on point, and you have to have sesame seed bread, or it doesn't count. The only minus is. Just don't make the rosemary ham super rosemary, right? Because it can ruin it as well. Gotta get my, the right it could be my there. favorite sandwich, though, and that's going to be there. Yeah. yeah. This, this, is, this is probably the most excited I've been about anything at Disneyland. <laughs> and I hope that they just copy this and make it the same and open a restaurant next to this new ride. I mean, listen, it's possible. There, there's there been a rumor for a while that they're going to close down Pecos Bill and, and retheme it to uh, to 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 uh, to this. So I but I don't know. I mean, it's that they, they haven't confirmed it yet. But I will say this food looks really good, man. I mean, yeah, this doesn't this this is a is this a quick service? This is a quick service, right? Uh, yeah, this is because I mean, service. it does not look like a quick service. <laughs> no, they got multiple gumbos, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I dig that. That chicken looks amazing. The, the Cajun, Cajun spice, spice half chicken. chicken. Oh, I don't, I don't love chicken with bones in it, but yeah, I'm yeah. not a big fan either actually, but still, I mean, good. it just looks, everything looks good and I don't like the shrimp stuff, but like it looks good, even though I know I'm not eating it. It <laughs> the, looks good. The, yeah. Shrimp and grits. It would, I would, I would be probably be going for that. I, I mean, mm. The problem with this is that you would have to like come back here like three or four times. <laughs> mm. Yeah, like and then this house filled beignet. Oh yeah, I don't beignet. love lemon icebox pie filling, and I don't like lemon in general. Like, not that I hate it, but I don't love it. Really? But I still eat this. Yeah, you don't like lemon? Oh man, I, I love a good lemon <sighs> like lemonade is fine, but like lemon in my dessert is like it can be a little overpowering for me. Is what I feel like. So I don't so love it. lemon meringue's like, out of it, the question for you. <laughs> no, I eat it, but like, I, I'm not like, that's not the first thing I go to. And and the thing is, crazy enough, though, I will eat, you know, a key lime pie. Mm. But again, I feel like it can only be so much of it. So in this thing, every time I see a beignet or something of this, I really think that they should just be those hostess Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle <laughs> things. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? I'm blanking on this. <laughs> you don't you don't know what I'm talking about? No, I'm, I'm, you know the, no. the pies that were filled with vanilla and chocolate pudding? By yeah, Hostess yeah, I know what those are, but I don't remember a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tie-in. Oh, there was. There was. The okay. ooze pies. But but anyway, it should be that. Like, every time I see something that looks like that, that's the only thing I can think of. And I'm like, why is it not that? Because they were the best things ever. Okay. Uh, I just Googled this and I kind of remember it now. Okay. <laughs> wow. That um, is a really... But that's what like these should all be. They should never be filled with lemon ice box pie filling. It should be filled with Teenage Mutant Ninja vanilla ooze that's green for some how, reason. But how does yeah? How does that go with the? Uh, no, it doesn't. I'm just saying is that when <laughs> I see something frog, that looks so. like that. Okay, well you know what? Well, there you go. Yes, you do frog, have that frog puree in a beignet. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> um, any anytime I see something like that, that's all it can make me think of, though. Yeah. I, listen, I. I love I, so I really like a good beignet, and actually, this is. Um, I hope that we don't have any listeners from New Orleans, but um, one of like my biggest disappointments disappointments from going to New Orleans was I went to was a Cafe du Monde and had their uh, beignets, and I just thought they were okay. <laughs> like that's like the big place you go to New Orleans to have beignets, and I just was like, mm, it's fine. Mm. Like I was kind of bummed by it actually. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will hate me for that, but they were definitely not the best beignets I've ever had. Um, yeah, but man, we got, I mean, you got gumbos coming in here. You got a chicken in and dewy sausage uh, gumbo. There's a house gumbo. There's a Cajun spice half chicken with that baked macaroni and cheese and like a nice little square there, <laughs> which I kind of love. Block. It's a block. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. You got some no. cornbread. Yeah. I, I was going to say the, the cornbread, I think it like, I don't know, whenever, whenever I go for, for that kind of stuff, like the cornbread's so filling, but you feel you have to just eat it. Right. Like it's, I don't know. I love cornbread too much. I think. <laughs> I dude, I love cornbread too. Actually, I yeah. I love a good cornbread. If it's if cornbread's too dry, I'm not in. Like I I need, you know, cornbread's always going to be a little bit dry, but like I I need some moistness in the in yeah. the bread. You know, yeah, you're right. You can get a lot of, of like bad, really dry cornbread, but if you get a good cornbread, mm, yeah, I'll I'll eat a ton of it. No, um, yeah. Good. So so the last thing we should talk about on this is that they are selling a ceramic set. I see that quick service. Yeah. Which is, this is very unusual because it usually is. like you, you get like sippers and stuff like this. This looks like a, like a nice, um, it, it's a lily pad and Lotus cup ceramic set, which I, I mean, I can't think of the last time that I've, I've seen anything ceramic at the parks that you Why could, I mean, selling that that's like, yeah. I mean, like you just going to walk out with this, <laughs> Like, well, no, it's, mean, you, you buy it and then you get a beignet with it. So it's like, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, like anything else, like, you know, you're paying for the for the plate and all that. But, you know, a very, very nice, like, like this is not like a popcorn bucket keepsake. Like this is something very nice. That, this is this is like yeah. if you went into one of the large gift shops at Disney, like in, if you went into like the home goods section, like you would find something like this. Well, even even in the home goods section, like I, I feel like the because it's got the the frog on it and everything that um, like th- this seems a lot more um, custom or, yeah, or yeah. a lot no, more like, like yeah, like it's again, just more upscale, I think, than um, than a lot of stuff I've seen from Disney for a while, like especially food related stuff. Like it seems like they kind of defaulted to a lot of just plastic and. Um, you know, easily mass producible stuff, but this uh, this seems like they put some effort into it. This this I guess what I mean by this is like you know normally if you buy something that's ceramic like this in the parks they like wrap it up real nice they put it in a bag like mm. is this gonna come like is there gonna be some way that you can wrap this up so you don't break it because you just gotta walk around with this now in your hands right, the rest yeah. of the day you know. It's- Break it on Space Mountain. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what yeah. do you do with it after you have it? Well, you, uh, you get a locker and you put it in the locker until you're right. done. That's, That's, I guess That's what I would do. <laughs> I also like this Ray Firefly glow cube. Again, taking it to another level. You know, they have the typical glow yeah. cubes. Uh, and then they now this one is shaped like Ray. And it's kind of cool. Like, I don't think I've seen. I'm trying to think if I've seen glow cubes that are shaped um, like a character. That's not actually a glow cube. Well, no, it's, it's no, it says glow cube. It, yeah, it looks like a clip, or because it, it does look like a clip. Yeah, because I've, I've seen, or we we had like a there was like a Buzz Lightyear one that we got that was actually just a thing that clipped onto the side of the cup. It wasn't. So glow. what you're saying is it's like the popcorn bucket that isn't. It's a glow cl- cube that isn't. It's a Maybe. it's a glow clip. Yeah. <laughs> a glow clip. Yeah, it's a glow clip with an asterisk. Yeah, they've they've got an asterisk on it, which means oh. <laughs> Limit well, no, limit ten limit. per person per transaction. Uh, who's buying more than ten of these? Oh, I guess you know they're going to show up on eBay, I, dude. Like you I, know it's going to happen. I answered that question before I even finished. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a market for everything. I mean, like yeah. let's not forget they were people were stealing the 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 cool sporks from Galaxy's Edge and selling them. If people are going to sell a true. spork, they're going to sell a glow, a glow clip. <laughs> so. Uh, but no, this listen. This looks good, and and to Damon's point, this muffaletta sandwich looks excellent. Looks really good. I've I mean, never had a muffaletta before, so I'm I'm very curious about it. <laughs> it's not really something you get outside of New Orleans. Basically, I mean, the only okay. one I've ever had really, I think, was in New Orleans. Uh, so yeah, it's it's very it's a very New Orleans dish or sandwich, I guess you should, we could say. So should we should we hop back in time here back to? <laughs> But back to our previous topic, Trevor. Well, or, or do you want to yeah, finish food off? Let's finish food off. Let's finish food off because we we have yeah. another one here for um the was it Plaza de Familia in the Disneyland Resort, which yeah, I'm another, guessing this is Familia. Yeah, uh, this is Coco. It is. I'm, it's a I'm, California adventure. Like? It's September first and November second. So this is a uh, it's it's the uh, it's the Dia de los Muertos celebration, right? Yeah. So, so yeah. The cake. That that slice of cake is awesome. beautiful. It is. Yeah. 
It is. It's like pink. I mean, is that is that all layers of cake? It's not even like frosting in the middle. It's like it's just a bunch of different colored cakes. Yeah, it says it says it's a horchata cheesecake. Oh, is it? Whoa, yeah. Okay. I like me some horchata. (laughs) (laughs) That's the next meme. (laughs) It's the next meme that Chris is going to (laughs) make. I, I, I didn't even think about when so so just that that meme actually made me laugh when I saw it. This oh, week, I but, I laughed yeah. out loud. I was <laughs> sitting on the couch looking at my phone and I saw that and I was like, that is a perfect use of that meme. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you don't know what we're talking about, join the Facebook group because uh, because every once in a while people will uh, will put together some memes with some funny things from the episode. But it's it's so funny because it's never the things I think they're gonna ca- pick up on, right? Like it's always the dumb things like that where it's like. You know, I just exclaim that I love food and you're just like, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Sadly, like, I know. (laughs) Um, It wasn't wasn't sadly. It was just like, yes, I know this about you. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of this, Tom. All right. You don't need to tell me how much you love food. Uh, So I guess I was wrong. That's not the horchata cheesecake. Okay. I was going to say, it didn't look like cheesecake to me. Yeah. Yeah. I I went further down. It looks like it's it's a vanilla layer cake with uh, cinnamon mousse and... And sweet cream cheese frosting, so it's okay. still got the cream cheese, but it's not it's not the horchata. That sounds fantastic, nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. Still good, yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, what, what did we decide we were going to call the, the dishes where they just make a regular dish and they just throw a thing on top of it? The, uh... Because um, that's the I, horchata I, cheesecake. <laughs> is, oh, did you find it? I did find it, yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> It's, it's just a little metal tin that they just threw the skull on. <laughs> oh, so man. yeah, that one's that that's that's the laziest one of all of them in here. <laughs> I, I mean, it looks like a nice sugar skull, but uh, yeah, 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 but, yeah. Okay, but let's look at some of these <laughs> other dishes. Okay, so uh, chili verde, verde uh, chicken flautas. Okay, cool. Um, what am I like? Oh, chorizo quesadilla. I'm always up for a quesadilla, man. I love quesadillas. Yeah, these tacos, the tacos estilo Caliero. Oh, yeah. yeah. Caliero, I think I'm so bad at pronouncing. No, it's, like it's, it's all right. It's all good. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at this burrito uh, too, man. This burrito looks delicious. The carnitas one. I mean, this, this is all just, uh, like it, 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 it reminds me of the same kind of stuff you get at Pecos Bills. Which oh, yeah, is yeah. not a bad thing by any means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh man, they yeah, have get, a too. Sorry, good. Again, the problem is, is that you know, or, or this is a good problem to have is these like looking at all these dishes. I feel like I would have to come back to these um, restaurants like two or three times. Yeah, to try all of these different things, right? Like that's that's not a bad problem to have. Other than you know, this is a limited time run, which you know. I mean, I mean, if I was, if I was planning a trip to to Disneyland, I would, you know, I would probably find a week in October, and then spend <laughs> spend a good chunk of it at Paradise Garden Grill. <laughs> just, just all your time eating, uh, yeah. breakfast, <laughs> uh, lunch, and dinner. Dude, I love a lote. I, have you have you had a lote? I love a lote. Um, the corn. Never the had a lote. Oh, dude, so good. Ta- corn of the cob topped with crema, uh, cotilla, and uh, chili powder. And uh, chicharron crumbles. Like I love a good elote, man. So good. It's like a like the street corn. It's just so so good. My my sister makes it every once in a while. Although, listen, and I know that this is a kids' meal, right beneath the elote. But like, there's like five chips on that on that plate. Like my daughter would destroy that in like two seconds. <laughs> like, <laughs> why even put a plate with just five tortilla chips and? and some you, sort of green salsa are you sure it's not a uh because it just says chips and salsa yeah so is, I mean, are you sure that's not side. just a side yeah. it's just, but even then i'd be disappointed if that was the size of my side yeah that's true i mean pretty, pretty tiny I, I guess the thing is is I, i'm not really buying a lot of sides that's fair at disney yeah. like i'm not i'm not looking i'm usually getting enough from the meal itself so i mean yeah i, I guess you know if you're walking around and you're just really you know you know, wanting a snack. I don't know. I, I guess I, I'm, I'm never that not hungry at Disney. <laughs> I'm always really hungry at Disney. <laughs> I, I know we usually don't talk drinks, but watermelon candy cocktail. That sounds good to me, man. I, I, even though I don't like pineapple juice, I do love watermelon. 
tequila, watermelon schnapps, and pineapple juice. Yeah. That's yeah. No, that's a no for you. No, that's that's a little steep for the alcohol. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, talk, uh, we have another sipper here too. And uh, this Cocoa Skull Sipper, pretty cool. Not going to lie. Nice. Man, they're they're getting really good with these sippers and these uh, these popcorn buckets because this one is very cool. I, I do like that they also have the uh, Dante straw clip. As yeah, much yeah, as you know, we that. just finished talking about the you know the know, clipping on <laughs> stuff, clipping on to stuff. It, you know, you know, most of the time it's you know, eh, like I I don't want it, but <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like Dante's a cool cool character. character. I agree. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, there's not enough Dante stuff. I feel and. You know that the thing about that is that it it looks it's like a keychain, right? Yeah, so yeah. like you could you could put it on anything else, and so I'm okay with that. All right, yeah. And we're just going down. We're down to your horchata cheesecake uh, with where they threw a uh, a skull on the top of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just seeing if there's anything else that stands out to me that is uh, that is that a, hor- huh? a horchata cookie filled with. Okay. Kajeta? I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'd be willing to. Th- the thing about this stuff is that when I don't know what it is, I'm more. You're more <laughs> interested, interested in trying. Try. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, what is that? Can, can I compare it to something that I know? Or, you no, know, is sense. it. Yeah. I don't know what this thing over to the right on the bottom is, but it's it's very cool looking. I can't seem to figure out what it is, though. The macaron box? Is that what it is? Yeah. Looks like it. No, no, no! All the way at the or, bottom, the last, oh, the last picture bottom. to the right. Yeah. Uh, vanilla sugar cookie. No, nope. that's what I'm saying. I can't remember what this one is. Unless it's, or it says Mexican wedding cookies. No, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of cool looking though. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's weird. I, it I wish. Weird, yeah. th- that's one thing Disney Parks blog needs to work on is, you know, they, they kind of throw these pictures together and you have to decipher. You have to figure out what it is. Yeah. Yeah. What, what like, you know, put each picture in and just put a caption below the picture. So we get it. Like, we get it right. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Usually you could figure it out, but like, you're right. Yeah. I, I, it'd be nice if they did that. Right. Yeah. I'll talk to, I know somebody that writes, well, I don't, I don't know them, know them. It's a, I have a friend of a friend that as uh, one of the writers on here all the time. So <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah. L- a little bit of feedback. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, I'll just pass that along. Yeah. Uh, so, so the last thing we have on here is uh Tokyo Disney resort is, uh, you know, getting ready to open a whole bunch of new themed lands uh, at fantasy Springs. And uh, so these are coming in 2024, but I think these are interesting to talk about because these could be, you know, a lot of times some of this stuff, starts over in the international parks and then can make its way over to Disney world sometimes, you know, not mm-hmm. always, but it's possible. I, I could see them building. So they've all new lands here. They have a tangled land, a frozen land and a Peter Pan land, uh, which is kind of cool. They're doing a Peter Pan one, right? But the names of these areas are going to be called um, Rapunzel's forest, Peter Pan's Neverland, of course, and yeah, uh, frozen be. kingdom. Why? I don't know why you just don't call frozen Arendelle, but okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> whatever. I'm not going to complain about it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that they actually made a snuggly duckling, duckling restaurant for Rapunzel's Land. See, I would eat there. Yeah, I would 100 percent eat there. Like, yeah, just like, yeah, because it's the snuggly duckling, right? <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I'm assuming they theme the heck out of it, right? Like I'm assuming it's exactly like what you would expect it to be. I would, mm-hmm. I would assume. Um, and then the ride is, uh, is, it says it's a romantic boat ride, uh, to the annual lantern festival. I have a feeling that could be very cool. Um, you know, with all the lanterns and everything, I mean, depending on how it looks, I, I don't think I've seen any like actual concept art of the ride. Right. I mean, just, just think about Navi river journey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, like, you know, that, that, that ride, what, uh, you know, albeit short is still very impressive. Yeah. Um, you know, if they put the same kind of effort into a tangled themed ride, yeah, like that's that's great. I would I I hope to see video of it because you know, like <laughs> like you, I don't think I'm getting over there anytime soon. But yeah, so those those you'll watch spoilers of those because you, yeah. you know you're not getting there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'll be curious to see that. And I'm also curious so so moving over to Neverland. Yeah. There's going to be 
Peter Pan's Neverland Adventure, which I I'm looking at the the um the poster for it and it looks it almost looks like the Peter Pan ride. Like like the boat has that same shape to it but i i know it's not going to be the same thing like but if i if it, I, it would be funny if they if they just did yeah. <laughs> like the peter pan ride but so if i, I remember know. correctly when we first started talking about this mm-hmm. the the cool thing about this one first of all the boat is much bigger right so it's got a whole bunch of people in it but yeah if i remember correctly they had the one of the cool things about this is that you're going to start off as a boat in the water and then it's going to take off flying at some point. Yeah. So like that's the big difference I think, right? Is like you're going to be in a boat in the water and then it's going to fly. So yeah, it's, it start you start off like like pirates of the Caribbean and then it takes off, which which yeah. is extraordinarily cool. I mean, if they can pull that off, even just the land itself looks very cool, right? Like the the way they have the land set up is I mean, is you know, you have Captain Hook's ship there, you've got the you got the skull, you've got, you know, like just like all the mountains that I like, it just looks very cool. It's a very cool little area. And then you also and, have this good. Sorry. Yeah. So, so the next ride was, uh, uh, fairy Tinkerbell's busy buggies is the name of it. And I, I like the way that th- th- this reads to me, like it, a more interactive attraction. Yeah. Cause it says, you know, help Tink- help Tinkerbell deliver parcels and packages to four seasonal areas of Pixie hollow, which, you know, if you have kids that, you know, watch, Pixie or the, you know, the various Tinkerbell movies like that. That's great that they're doing tie-ins for those. And, um, but I, I'm, I'm wondering what that's going to mean. Like, like, you know, helping deliver stuff. Is it, you know, are you just sitting there and is it going through or, you know, do you, do you have the ability to kind of affect the ride? It it sounds like it's going to be more interactive, right? I, I guess I'm assuming it is. Right. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking like, uh, Toy Story Midway Mania kind of. thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what it, like I maybe even trackless. I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that yeah, that's true. I I didn't even think about that. It'll probably be something trackless, which again, you know, increases the uh the reasons to, you know, to go back on it multiple times. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I'm trying to find more details of this because I, I don't want to give out incorrect information about this Peter Pan, right? But that's that's what I remember hearing, and I I just could be. I mean, it's possible I'm wrong about this. I you know, um, but there, you know, there's some other cool concept art out there too that's not even in this of like, especially at night, like what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so there's some really really interesting interesting things there. Um, what was I gonna? I was just scrolling down to see if I could find uh, find more details about this this ride. Uh, well, while, you, while you're doing that, we'll just mention the last thing, which is the uh, Lost Kids Lookout Cookout, which yeah. is going to be the restaurant in in Neverland, um, made from found objects and shipwreck parks parts. I again, you know, just talking about theming and, and you know how Disney does theming, I'm already like, I can't help but see Hook in my head. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I can see right, that, like yeah. like just how like the Lost Boys or their camp was all set up and everything. I, I know it won't like, I know it'll be, you know, more probably closer to the cartoon, but um, again, just, I, I wish I could go to this park because <laughs> it, it, <laughs> sounds, it sounds like it would just be an awesome thing to experience. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I actually found, and I'm, I'm going to send this to you, Trevor, but uh, okay. so it, this is saying it's a six minute boat ride with 3d goggles. Uh, and, they have pictures of the ride vehicles, which kind of look like boats. Like they don't look like a boat that would float very well. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong about this whole going up in the air thing, but the poster certainly makes it seem like they fly at some point, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Like, I mean, like, you know, that's just, it's safe to assume it because yeah, that's what they do in the movie. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. Right. So like, let's, let's assume this is correct. Um, <laughs> but then the, also, so, you know, th- it, this does look like a trackless ride for the, the, uh, the, the Tinkerbell one uh, based on the ride vehicles I'm seeing here. Um, it looks, it actually kind of looks like the Winnie the Pooh ride vehicles. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, you got to have to scroll all the way down basically. For yeah. I sent you. <laughs> this is a much more comprehensive article than, uh, than the one that Disney put out. <laughs> Wonder where they got this information from. I don't know. 
Yeah. 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 The, the, yeah, the, the boat seems. It doesn't the, the seem Peter, like a boat that would float on water, does it? Yeah. But I, I wonder if they're going to do something where it, it looks like. Like it simulates maybe it'll just, water. Or it'll yeah. just be just above the water. Like it, yeah, yeah. it won't actually, like it'll just kind of be suspended. And then, yeah, you, yeah, these, uh, you're right. These, uh, um, the Tinkerbell ride does look like Winnie the Pooh. It does, right? It yeah. looks just like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. I do have to say this ride vehicle for the Peter Pan uh, ride looks very cool. Like it looks like half a ship, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, th- you know, these look these are pretty cool looking rides, man. I mean, it'd be really interesting to to like kind of like you said, watch videos of these at some point, and just some of these night the night concept art too is is it looks like it's going to be amazing at night. Which listen, my favorite time at Disney parks is the nighttime, right? Like that's, that's the time I, I like being there. Cause there's just a lot of cool stuff, you know, just the, there's, there's something different about it at night, you know? Yeah, totally. So, um, yeah, so this is, uh, Oh, and we didn't talk about the frozen stuff. We got to talk about frozen. We can't, we can't. Not well, yeah. I mean, I mean, frozen, frozen kingdom. It, so they say it's going to be on and Elsa's frozen journey, which I, I, do you think that they're going to copy? I don't think frozen so. Ever after. I don't, I don't think so because I, I saw that they I saw the the animatronics first of all are like the good animatronics right like so they're the ones like where the you know where they look legit the, they actually have faces yeah yeah it's not a projected face and uh, the ride vehicles are not uh, the same either right so like I mean they're boats right um, but yeah no I, I saw there's a video out there uh, of the uh, of the actual um the animatronics i i where they were previewing it previewing it so um you know so they looked they looked very very different um but you know there's also they're building two they're gonna have the anna and elsa's frozen journey right so like so i'm assuming it's gonna be similar though you know to your point trevor right yeah that, that, I think that's the thing is that, you know, even if it's not exactly the same, because I, I know they repurposed Maelstrom for, for the one in Epcot, but it I, I just get this feeling in the back of my head that it's going to be just like the same thing, right? Like Because it doesn't it doesn't say anything about or, or it's basically talking about Frozen 1. Like, you know, it's yeah, like, you know, yeah. we live Frozen 1. It's like, well, we. You know, we already have a ride that does that, but <laughs> well, but they don't there. <laughs> Fair point. Yes, I guess I just won't be looking for any videos of this, like I will be the other two rides. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, wait, is it is this not the land that has the roller coaster too? Which are Which they building that somewhere coaster? else? They were building. They're building a frozen roller coaster. Really? Is it, is it not here? Uh. uh, maybe that's in Shanghai. Yeah, let me. I, I gotta track that down now because I'm 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 maybe mixing up my uh, my my foreign parks here. <laughs> you know, this yeah, one's but, at Hong Kong. Okay, so that one's at. There's another Frozen Land being built at Hong Kong. Ah, uh, okay. And we're For talking extra confusion. Yeah, <laughs> just to add in more confusion <laughs> here. Yeah, no, they're building a Frozen roller coaster that looks, uh, you know, fairly similar. I would say to, um, to to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train actually. So okay, yeah. I, for some reason, I thought that was that was Tokyo, but I guess not. So, and they just they just have the um, they just have the the Frozen Ever After deal. So, I mean, they have the castle too, I guess, and and they're gonna have the Royal Banquet of Arendelle Restaurant, which I'm gonna guess is like Cinderella's Royal Table esque, right? Yeah, it, it seems like it's in the castle. So, yeah, it, it looks it looks a lot nicer than like be our guest. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the concept art. Okay, well, nice. Come on. Okay, <laughs> yes, but the problem with be our guest was the way that they they did the perspective on it. That you know, it's supposed to look like the castle's off in the distance, oh. but it doesn't. No, that right? part like, is, like that part's bad. But the restaurant yeah. itself is fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm just talking, looking at the concept art that we have here. You know, this this looks like Arendelle. Yeah, it's a versus, full. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. yeah, it's a whole it, real castle. And, and, and yeah, and that's, that's the thing is, you, you know, once, once you've been, and, and you know, maybe this is me speaking as someone who's been spoiled by this is like, you know, once you've been to somewhere like cars land, where when you walk into the land and it's, it's not even like, oh yeah, you know, they, they themed it like this thing, like cars land is cars, like yeah. it's radiator springs. You, you can't, you can't argue it. Like it, it's, it's perfect 
in that sense. And then when you see something like, like, you know, the outside of be our guest where it was like, they tried, but it didn't, you know, it doesn't quite look right. Um, that's, that's where, you know, looking at this concept art, I, I really hope it has that sense of scale to it or the proper sense of scale, because like you said, you know, it's not that the the restaurant may necessarily be bad, but it takes away from just the overall vibe and, and feeling of, you know, being in one of these Disney parks. Right. So, um, I, and, and I mean, I, I assume Tokyo Disney is usually pretty good about going over the top too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, they, they are right. Like they always, all the Imagineers always want to work on the international parks because they, they blow the budget out of the water, right? Like they actually can do the things they want to do. And by the way, that, that animatronic video I saw was actually from the Hong Kong frozen ever after uh, uh-huh. attraction. So I don't know what the one at Tokyo is going to look like. I just sent it to you, but like the one at Hong Kong is like really good animatronic, like, you know, one of the yeah. high level ones, you know? <laughs> yeah. They kind of like, like they, they did the beauty and the beast. Yes. Animatronic. Yeah. It's like, it's like that kind of animatronic. Yeah. Yeah. And they have the roller coaster too at the, at the Hong Kong one. So the, the Tokyo one doesn't, that one's, that one is just a, an Anna and Elsa ride, which I don't know if we know more about the details of that one or not. And I mean, what they're building in Hong Kong is much more, um, it, it, I think the the land is much more uh, significant than the one that at at Tokyo. Yeah, um, yeah, because th- this is being added into Disney Sea, so it's it's like yeah. an extension of Disney Sea. It's not a whole new, um, a whole new land, right? Yeah, it's so. almost like more of an area than a land. Whereas yeah. at at Hong Kong, it's like a full fledged land with like you know the ice castles there, the full the full Arendelle castles there. You have the full city or town. Or, kingdom whatever of arendelle <laughs> is is built at uh at, at hong kong at uh hong kong but at, at disney and you know listen the difference is hong kong was a little bit i, I don't want to say it was a little sparse but you know hong kong was basically have just the space yeah built. it's it's different <laughs> it's it's just different right so um yeah so the animatronic there is but i wish i wish at frozen ever after at epcot they would upgrade to the better animatronics but you know. maybe they will i mean might yeah. be on the road now. Maybe they'll know. refurb at some point and upgrade it, you know. But, you know, at the time, listen, at the time that they put those on and Elsa figures in there, that was the top of the line, right? Like that was, you know, and they probably won't replace it until it's time to replace it. So, yeah. And, you know, don't don't get me wrong. Like, like the the one in Epcot, it's not it's not a bad ride. It's just, um you, you know, like you said, Maelstrom. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I, yeah, I liked Maelstrom, but, but even outside of that, like you said, it, it, it was kind of, it's kind of a, um, an unfortunate, um, an unfortunate subject of bad timing sure. because, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, the Maelstrom redo, you know, people didn't like that, but then they did these animatronics, which were okay. And then like, it's, it felt like immediately after I know there was like some time between when those animatronics came out and then these new ones. But then when you saw the new ones, it was like, oh, wow, like these are these are way better. Like the facial expression expressions and everything are just so much better oh, yeah. on these newer ones. And unfortunately, it makes you look back at at um, at the one in Epcot and kind of go, eh, like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, like, even if we, even when you go on something like the Journey of the Little Mermaid, right, like the Ariel mm-hmm. figure and the Ursula figures are incredible in that. Yes, ride, they right? are. Like, they're uh, really yeah. they're, like, you know, just the, the, the real looking skin and like the facial expression, like way better than what you have at Frozen Ever After. Right. But like, again, at the time, that was that was what it was. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's I, I know people were upset about the Maelstrom thing. Right. But like, let's be honest right disney obviously made the right decision there because you went from a ride that had a five minute wait time pretty much all the time to a ride that now is one of the most popular rides of the parks one of the longest wait times of the- i mean so like yeah it's sad that the maelstrom went away but at the same time from disney's point of view they made the right decision right like yeah i mean i'll admit you know the first time i went to florida i didn't even know there was a ride there at the maelstrom yeah 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 like it, I, it took me a while to figure it. And then I was like, Oh, there's, there's a ride back here. <laughs> and, and then I was happy that I found it, but um, it was one of those yeah. hidden gem things, right? Like it was, it was yeah. yeah, it it was one of those like quirky Disney Epcot things that you don't see a lot anymore. Right. But at the same time, it's like, 
It was it was never a it, it's figment. It's five minutes. If if it was busy, then you know you knew the park was busy that day. One of those kinds of things. Yeah. So and now it's busy all the time. So. And now it's now it's just busy all the time, and you can't. You know, and I also have one of the best ride photos I've ever gotten at Disney from that ride. So <laughs> of my daughter's terrified face. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up, Trevor. We're we're All I right. think we're at a good place to wrap her up. Yeah, for sure. Um so yeah, as usual, if you guys want to reach out to us, you can always find us at welcome home podcast at gmail dot com. Uh you know, if you ever have questions or you want to share your own trip reports, stuff like that, we we love to see it. So, so keep it coming. And uh, if you want to follow us on social media, you can find us on Facebook as Welcome Home Podcast. Uh, same thing on YouTube. Instagram is Welcome Home Picks. If you are on Facebook, make sure you check out Welcome Home Disney Waitlist. Uh, we talked about it earlier. It's a it's a great uh, group where we have lots of our listeners posting memes and and discussions, you know, people asking questions about their own trips and just, you know, generally sharing Disney knowledge, which, you know, I, I think that's what all of us want from this is, you know, just a, you know, a place to talk Disney with other people that want to talk Disney. So, um, you know, check out our Facebook group. And if you'd like to help support the show, go to store.welcomehomepodcast.com and check out our different merchandise there. We got uh, t-shirts and mugs and all kinds of stuff you know maybe you need some stuff for your next trip that uh you know go have a look on the on the store and um you know it it just helps it helps support the show and helps us keep things running and our limited edition shirt is coming out soon too so yes yeah we we will have a a limited edition shirt coming soon so keep an eye out for that um Uh, david posted the picture in the group so if you want to know what it's going to look like go look at it yeah so if you haven't joined the group that's another reason to join the group is you'll see stuff like that yep um and and also, you know, in the same vein of, you know, helping to support the show, uh, we do have a Patreon. So you can go to patreon.com slash welcome home pod and check out our different levels of support that come with exclusive merchandise that only Patreon supporters get. And uh, it'll also get you access to our Discord server, which is another place that we love to talk with our listeners. And yeah, you know, we do share things like, uh, you know, previews of our upcoming shirts and things that we're working on. So if that seems interesting to you, uh, you know, please check it out. Last but not least, if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify, leave us a five star review. It does help more people find the show because of how the Internet and algorithms and all that fun stuff yeah. works. So, um, you know, you know, just leave us a review if you, you got a couple of minutes. And on iTunes, you know, if you want to write us a review, we love to see those. We love to hear what you guys think about the show. So, you know, keep those coming. We do read them on the on the show here. So, yeah, and uh, I don't yeah. remember if I read this one or not, uh, but I feel like I'm going to read it again, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, if you start reading it, I can tell you because I, I remember the one from last week. But, well, this so. one is uh, DL Miller 14. Great group and fun to listen to. Found this podcast back in March. Do you remember that? Yes. No? Yep. Mm-hmm. Did I read that one? You did. Oh, man. What about uh, love this podcast? Been listening to a while for a while now. All the hosts have their own opinion, opinions, and it's genuine. We'll keep listening. One day, make a meetup from Vegas Joe. Oh, cool. Okay, so that, I did read that's that. That's a one. new one. Okay, yeah. so love the podcast. Been listening a while now. All hosts have their own opinions, and it's genuine. We'll keep listening, and one day, make a meetup. Okay, thanks, Vegas Joe. Appreciate that. Yeah, hope <laughs> hope you can. You know, we we were talking about it earlier. We need to make more meetups too. It's uh, listen. I need to actually have hard. a trip to Disney. But, like I, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. We, ours is still a ways out, not until February, and, and then you know, past that, yeah. You know, we do we do need to figure out more times to to schedule this or schedule getting to Disney. Which you know, yeah, but but because we are in such different. <laughs> time zones and yeah all yeah that. it's challenging it's uh it can be challenging but we're, we're gonna keep trying <laughs> i so I'll, i'm gonna tell a story really quickly just that's Go off topic it. but so my wife and i the other day i was i was uh sitting on the couch and i was doing um i was doing i i'm in graduate school i'm doing i'm doing so i was doing schoolwork for graduate school uh on my on my laptop sitting on the couch and uh my wife was reading a book right so we were just sitting there and and typically i'm the type of person i've talked about this before 
I'm very ADD. I like to, if I'm doing something, I like to have something else going on in the background. I can't just sit in silence. I like, you know, music playing or something. And I like to play instrumental music when I'm trying to concentrate. And so, and you probably know where this is going. Uh, so <laughs> I go, I, I go on, on YouTube music and I, I find, uh, the, the Epcot, uh, entrance music, right? Just the, the, yep. the newer one, right? And mm-hmm. the one I found in particular was was a video, and it had you know Spaceship Earth all lit up, and uh, and and they had like fake fireworks going on in the background as the as you know we were listening to the to the music, and at one point I just look over and I see my wife and she's just and it's just the, the same animation over and over right, and it's just Spaceship Earth lit up and they have like the it's still when the tombstones were out front and like the lights in the pavement and the, so those are lighting up and. And, you know, it just looks really pretty. It's a, you know, night, really cool nighttime scene. And I just catch my wife just staring at it, just like watching it. <laughs> and I, I said to her, I was like, I was like, what are you doing? It's just like an animation of fireworks. And she's like, she's like, I know. She's like, I just miss it. Like, you know, <laughs> like it just was funny how that kind of manifested itself. You know, I know you listen to park music sometimes too, Trevor. So I, it's, I thought you'd appreciate that. So oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, all the time for the same reason, it, you know, it's yeah. just, it, it takes me back there because we don't get there enough. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean like it's, that's, that's what it is, man. So like I, we really missed out on it this year. And I mean, we're still going to try to do that day trip to magic kingdom. Um, you know, it's at some point, uh, the week of Thanksgiving, but, um, you know, still haven't planned it yet. So, uh, we're going to, we're going to work on that, but I just thought that was, that was kind of funny because uh, it's just, you know, one of those things, it's the same reason people watch the, uh, the resort, uh, you know, the old resort, uh, loop, uh, uh, the, from the hotels, you know, there's yeah. that whole YouTube channel where you can, uh, just sit there and listen to the music playing and watch the, the park times go by and stuff. I used to love watching that in the morning. I was kind of sad that that went away, but, um, Sorry, just I'll, I'll throw in mine real quick that um, we I found this one earlier in the year and like around like I want to say springtime because um, we are when I have trouble sleeping, like I'll go looking for like um, like YouTube videos that do like thunderstorms oh, yeah, or yeah. waves and st- like, you know, you know, that kind of stuff. I did actually find one that was somebody got on the monorail during a storm and there was like nobody else on the monorail. And they, they were, and so it was a full loop around on the monorail. Um, and then they, they turned it into like an eight hour loop thing. So it's so like, it keeps <laughs> looping obviously, but, um, that's amazing. It was very cool because, because it's not just the, uh, it's not just the, the sound of the, the rain and everything. You also hear, you know, every once in a while the stop and the, you know, please stand clear of the doors. Please stand and, clear of the doors. Yeah, but for right? Which, <laughs> which, yeah, you, you know, you know, to that end, you know, it's, it, the same thing is, you know, it was very calming, very like, yeah, I can just sit here and listen to this because, you know, you, know, you get you get the rain, but then also that little bit of Disney in it as well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like it's yeah. you're going to your happy place, right? It's like, yeah, exactly. that's that's what it is. So, so, uh, you know, just get back to what we're doing. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Welcome Home Podcast so you can be reminded every time we release a new episode. You can find us on uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spotify, uh, YouTube. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. All new episodes going forward are on YouTube and on YouTube Music. Uh, so go check that out as well. Uh, just a reminder to our listeners, Welcome Home Podcast is for entertainment only. We are not employed by the Walt Disney Company. And as such, all opinions we express on the show are our own. So please consult with a uh, Disney cast member or a DVC cast member for more information about anything that we talked about today. A uh, huge thank you to our sponsors, uh, uh, DVC uh, Rental Store, for sponsoring this episode. And, of course, World of DVC for continuing to be a supporter of the show. Uh, please go check them out for any of your DVC or really not non-DVC related uh, needs uh, they're they're a really great company to work with and uh, you know that have been a great supporter of the show over the years so uh, join us next time for more Disney Parks discussion of course more DVC talk we hope to see you all real soon this is Skipper Albert A. Wall, the voice of the jungle signing off from Welcome Home Podcast on the DVC when we hit a chair how she can cuddle is no I looked around from pole to pole, found her in a sugar bowl. Really?